there. Hi, Betsy. How was your aerobics class? It was great, but can you believe it's still raining out there? Wow, it's still raining. Oh, yeah. The streets are a mess. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, what's going on there? Gosh, it looks like a flood alert. This is a special report from News Channel 1. The Truckee Meadows is now under a flood watch, which means that flooding is anticipated along the river within the next 24 to 48 hours. The forecast is showing continued rains throughout the evening. For information about standbag locations, please call the phone numbers or go to the websites posted on your screen. Hi, I live in Southwest Reno and I'm looking for a place to get sandbags. Horseman's Park. Okay, the east dirt lot. All right, what do I need to bring? Gloves, shovels, and someone to help. Okay, thank you. They say the water's rising. What do you think? Well, let's go get our sandbags now then. Okay. Okay, hey, we're ready to go. You got the gloves? Yes, got the gloves. Okay, and we're going to Horseman's Park? Yep, dirt okay. lot. Okay, all right. some tips on how to properly fill a sandbag. Oh, First right. thing you're going to need is a proper tool. Well, this is it. You want a shovel that will fit inside the bag. Oh. oh. Your typical garden spade or flathead shovel are the best to do the job. You're only going to want to fill a bag half to two, three quarter, two, two thirds of the way, not all the way up. And to do that, scoop. Hold the bag open and pour it in. That's it? That's it. When you're transporting a sandbag, after you fill the bag, you want to tie it shut. Most sandbags have the tie with them. Tie it shut to transport. However, when you go to build the wall, you want to untie the bag. So you'll untie it. You want to take the bag and you're going to want to lay it flat. Flatten the bag out. The reason you do this is you're going to want to lay another bag on top of that. And you're going to want to fold this bag. And you're going to do a quarter fold, triangle shape, away from the water. The direction your water's coming in, you want to fold it away. The reason being, if you fold it towards the water, the water can roll, come into the bag and wash your sand out. So you want to fold it away. Fold that away like that. You take your next bag, untie you're going to lay it on top of that bag on your fold. And it's always best to pat it down and get it as, as flat as possible. Do the same thing, fold it away, and continue on. And that's how you build your wall, by interlocking the bags. And then by interlocking the bags, you get the strength. As the water comes up, and is absorbed by the sand, that'll keep the water from going underneath. On your wall, as you're coming, if you need to change directions or go back, when you come to a spot where you need to turn back, is you're going to want to fold your bag flat to change direction. Take your bag and you're going to set it on top. And then you're going to start your second tier going back the other way. Again, folding the bag away from the direction of the water. And that's the proper use of sandbags. I'm now going to demonstrate how to use a sandbag wall in a freestanding application to protect a wellhead or something where there's not where you're not building up against a wall but you're using the bags themselves to protect the area that you need to protect. What you do is you take two bags and you're going to lay them side by side. Doing the same thing as before. 
laying them out, same exact way to do them, but using two, ball, two bags. And the reason you do two bags is if you have water rushing in, one row might tip over with the weight of the water. By having two bags, you have the strength and the weight of the bags to keep it from tipping over. In this wall, you're going to use what's called a key, where you're actually going to fold one bag flat. That's going to be your end bag, and this is called a key. You just keep bringing it up and coming out as you're building the wall. All right, last three. I got it. Okay. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. This is a breaking news, Bolton. The National Weather Service indicates the storm has dumped more than one inch of rain in the past hour. Local authorities have upgraded the flood alert level. Flooding is anticipated within the next 12 to 24 hours. Please turn to your local TV news for sandbag locations. We now return to our regular programming. All right, here's the last sandbag. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go move the truck. All right. Okay, looks like we're ready. 